Hi, I'm Kim Maloney and I will be reviewing One Who Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. To start off, I have heard over and over that this is a very classical movie and that it's amazing and so on and so forth. And usually with these types of films that have so much hype around them, I come out pretty disappointed. But with One Who Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, I was actually quite impressed and Jack Nicholson's performance was fantastic. Um, so this movie is about, about a man named McMurphy or Mac, who is played by Jack Nicholson, and he was sent to prison but pleads insanity for a chance to go to a mental hospital instead of jail. Now, McMurphy goes into this ward with the idea about himself that he's going to be out of there in a couple weeks, and he thinks that he's kind of smarter than everyone and doesn't really take anything seriously. And as he spends more time in the ward, he really learns more about the people and develops a compassion for them. And he wants them to experience the world and sees that they are real people and wants to respect, some, respect them in a different way than um, nerd nurse Ratchet treats them. So the majority of this film is Mac developing these relationships and kind of changing his view on the whole ward and the mental hospital and what the purpose of it is. And then the end of the movie is something that I honestly did not see coming, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, so one scene that stood out to me that's in relation to editing and um, camera angles is the conversation between Mr. Washington and Mac when Mac is in the bath pool and Mr. Washington is telling him information about the fact that he's not going to be out of the hospital in a couple of weeks. It's all up to the doctors and this is something that Mac didn't know and so he's very shocked by this. And the, important, the, the importance of the camera angles is that when Mac's talking, the camera is looking from above and looking down on him so it's kind of making him inferior to Mr. Washington because Mr. Washington has this information that he knows is about to shock Mac. And so when Mr. Washington talks from the edge of the pool, the camera's looking up at him, kind of making him superior to Mac, which really added to the whole to that whole scene. Um, but the acting that I want to focus specifically on is um, Nicholson's performance because he uses wholeness and unity in his portrayal of Mac. Mac goes goes through stages of hyperactiveness where he seems kind of crazed, to times where he appears much more intelligent than everyone, to times where he shows compassion towards his fellow patients, and he's all over the walls. And Nicholson does a great job of pulling all these emotions together and putting them into one character and making it very believable instead of being, you know, really recognizing that he's acting out these things. He's really creating the character and uniting it all into one thing. And he also draws us to root for him in his determination to bond with the patients and put, you know, colorful life back into their lives. And he just, he really brings you to that and makes you want to help him and make you feel bad for him towards the end. Um, but my favorite character in the whole movie is the chief because he starts out seemingly flat and not in the big picture, but a large presence that is some that is serene and he has kind of a calming demeanor in the other otherwise chaotic mental hospital and when he first smiled I realized that he was going to be more of a round character and I got really excited and then he spoke to Mc Nicholson and it brought out a new side of who the chief is and this brings me back to the surprise at the ending of the film and I truly thought that Mac was more likely to die than to succumb to the ward and even though it was not his determination that faltered but instead the hospital actually operated on him and you know, turned him into what he became, I found it very sad and surprising. And I really respected the chief's choice to suffocate him because it just, he wasn't who he was anymore. And so even though this ending was very sad to me because I really valued Mac's determination to get the people out of the ward and show them some fun, but I was left fulfilled because the chief escaped and Mac didn't live in the ward as someone that he wasn't. So thank you. Have a good summer. Goodbye.